Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am down here at Rockcliffe Hall which is the hardest golf course in the entire United Kingdom and the course plays standard seven strokes more and the slope rating is 79. So I've given myself a bit of a challenge and I'm going to be playing the three toughest holes on this course to see if I can make par, break par, hopefully not go over par. Let's go. So first up we have the fourth hole which is a par four. I'm going to be playing it off the whites. Now here at Rockcliffe there is five tee options but the black and the gold are both not in action today so this is the furthest point that I can play luckily because the goals are a joke. The 8,000 yards from the back tees. Off this tee first of all how far is it? Okay, it is 388 yards, par four. We have got a lot of water going on here. I've measured it, it is 225 yards to carry that water. Obviously, I'm gonna go for it. I need to try and make those pars. Luckily I had my pancakes for breakfast this morning. Oh my word, I've gone for the tiger line. That has to go. Just, I think it might just be over. Oh, that was a bit close for comfort. This was a little bit too close for comfort. We don't like to be this close to the water. So, lasering in. Right, not too bad. I still have 144 yards. I think it feels a bit... Oh, oh, downwind as well. Right, we're in October, so it's not rolling. So it's all about the carry. Going 144 yards. So I'm going to just go into flight straight now with 7-iron. Left side of the pin. Don't want to bring that water back into play. Oh, that felt really good. Definitely left. Oh, come back in, baby. Let's just pretend I knew those contours, but I've never played here before, so I can't even say it. I think we've just got a little sneaky downhill one here. Always straight back to the water. You do generally find that, that most greens do actually slope towards the water. Don't blame me if it doesn't, but most of the time it does. Come on, keep going, keep going. Well, <laughs> well, this one I clearly didn't eat enough breakfast. This will be a good part. Yeah, that's right, good start. One down, two to go. Okay, we are now on hole number eight, which is the hardest hole on the golf course. Stroke index one, we have got a par four. But that flag looks so far away. It's 436 yards playing straight into the wind, which nobody likes to hear on stroke one. I really feel like I need to get a good drive away here. Otherwise, I actually, no, I think I'm going to be hitting a wood into the green anyway. <laughs> Let's welly one down there. Oh, nearly lost my balance, but yes. Straight down the middle. Oh, I actually nearly split the line. Come on. Yeah. So we've come up to my ball and I'm glad that I didn't look at the course map for this one because there's an awful lot of water down on the right side, which is out of play now. So we're going to go for the green. Wow. It's so far. Oh my word. <laughs> 233 yards still. I actually can't reach into the wind. I'm gonna have to go forward and just, well, it's a forward layup on a par four. Yep. So it has to be at least a 20 yard wind. So 250 yard into the green. I can just take this one nice and easy. Anywhere near that bunker would be astonishing. Oh, well, I had a little pull, so that might help with a bit of distance. Wow, oh my word, that's no way near. 75 yards still into the green. 
Wow, I'm glad they didn't play off the golds. I think, well, the, off the golds, if they were open, 479 yards, still a par four. Wow. Just wow. Right, 75 yards incoming. Get right. Well, we'll soon find out. This is where Scramble Queen needs to become activated. We're still in for a chance of a par. I fancy this putt. I really do. Alrighty. Ooh, Gee, it's got a bit more swing on it than what I thought. Got a little left to right, but then I think it goes back the other way. Yep, we're going straight. Double breaker. Oh my word, I would love to make a par on this hole. It's got a chance. Oh, it went the other way! Oh, right. Bogey. But I feel like that is really a par five. They're only playing with us. So it looks like I've got to birdie the second hardest hole on the golf course. So here we are, hole number 10, the second hardest hole on the golf course. So it warrants a bit of an, an animal glove for this hole because I've got to make a birdie. That's all I'm thinking about right now. It is 430 yards, hole number 10. Obviously it's got to be a par four, but I did glimpse, have a little glimpse of the whole map as we we're driving up here. And there seems to be a lot of blue on this hole. All down the right hand side, it looks like it's a bit of a, a dog leg right to left. The water literally traces the hole all the way down the side. So question is, are we going for the tiger line? I don't think I can reach. I can't go over that tree, so there's trees on the left. I think I've just got to go down the fairway, hit a massive wood, and then, I don't know, chip in. Scramble, ultimate scramble coming at you here. Straight down the middle, baby. Okay, maybe a little bit of a longer way in, but we're on the fairway. Good tee shot. Ooh, okay, we've got 200. 200. Oh, oh, it's helping a little bit. That's interesting. Wasn't expecting that. 200 yards. But we've got an uphill. It's uphill to the green. Yes, it's downwind, but there's also not much roll on the ball right now. So we're going forward. Little light choke, choke down one. And then we'll hold the putt for the birdie. Oh, it's straight at it. Go and be the club. Ooh, oh, I think it might just be left side. <laughs> okay, pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's get a little bit of inspo from the guys at the Ryder Cup chipping in from everywhere. Go on, go on. Oh! <laughs> right, looks like I'm gonna have to save my paw. I can't really be too disappointed, but I've still not hold my par putt yet. Now, if I hold this one over for the three toughest course, the three toughest courses, no, the three toughest holes on the hardest course in the UK. It's not too shabby. Oh, in the side door. As always, thank you so much guys for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And also, thank you so much for Rockcliffe Hall. Course is absolutely stunning. So if you're ever in this area, it's definitely one to put on your bucket list. See you soon.